The American Silver Eagle is, without a doubt, one of the most popular silver coins in the world, and maybe the most popular measured by demand. It's my personal favorite silver coin. It checks all the boxes for the best coin to stack, except one. And that last checkbox is a whopper. Here are some advantages of investing in American Silver Eagles. They're highly liquid. Silver Eagles are easy to buy and sell, which makes them a good investment for those who want to get in and out of the market quickly. High demand. American Silver Eagles are popular among collectors, which helps to keep prices high. So popular that demand outstrips supply. Beautiful design. The Walking Liberty design is one of the most iconic coin designs in the world. Let's take a look. Can you pick out the Silver Eagle among these coins all lined up showing their obverse? Of course you can. The Eagle is instantly recognizable as being different than other government minted coins. The Krugerrand, Britannia, Kangaroo, and Maple all feature heads of state on the obverse side, while the Eagle features Lady Liberty and the word Liberty along the radius. Liberty is like freedom. It's the state of being free from arbitrary or oppressive restrictions. It's the right to live as one pleases, without interference from the government or other powerful entities. Who doesn't want liberty? All other coins feature a ruler's image. Why? It's to represent authority. The head of a coin is often a portrait of a ruler or other important figure. This is a way of showing that the coin is issued by a legitimate authority and that it has value. In addition, it's to legitimize the ruler's power. Putting a ruler's image on a coin is a way of asserting their authority and making them seem more powerful and important. This was especially important in ancient times when there was no other way to spread a ruler's image or message to a large audience. One coin represents authority over you, while the other, freedom from oppression. Which would you rather have? That's all well and good, but now we get to the price of liberty. And what's the disadvantage of investing in American Silver Eagles? Premiums. Silver Eagles trade at an extraordinary premium over the spot price of silver. It's not because of their great design either. Check this out. The U.S. Mint is mandated to make coins as widely available to the public as possible, ensure the premiums are in line with other similar coins, Ensure low transaction costs. On every metric, they have failed. Look, the fundamental problem is simple supply-demand economics. The U.S. Mint does not produce enough supply to meet demand. They've been producing around 10 to 15 million Silver Eagles a year, with one outsized year in 2020 where the mintage was 30 million. We can safely say that demand is likely to be 30 to 40 million coins if premiums were in line with other coins yet they only produce 15 million coins annually. That's what 2023's numbers are looking to be by year's end. There are a few reasons why the U.S. Mint cannot produce more silver eagles. 1. Shortage of silver. The global silver supply is limited. There has been an increased demand for silver in recent years from investors and industrial users. This has led to a shortage of silver, which has made it difficult for the U.S. Mint to obtain the silver it needs to produce silver eagles. 2. Limited production capacity. The U.S. Mint has a limited production capacity for silver eagles. The Mint's facilities are not designed to produce large quantities of silver coins, and they are already operating at full capacity. 3. Outsourcing of planchet production. The U.S. Mint used to produce its own silver planchets, but it now outsources this production to private companies. This has made it more difficult for the Mint to control the quality and availability of planchets, which has also contributed to the shortage of silver eagles. Why does the U.S. Mint charge such a high premium? The Mint actually sells bullion coins to wholesale dealers and not directly to the public. You can buy proofs, uncirculated, and other collectibles directly from the Mint, but not bullion coins. Here's how it works. The Mint has authorized purchasers who then act as wholesalers or sell directly to the public. The bar to become an authorized purchaser is very high, higher than most online dealers can meet. So there are only a few here in the U.S. and some internationally. Probably everyone's heard of AppMex, which is on the list. Also, there's this Amark Precious Metals. You go over to their website, where you see a bunch of names they do business under. There's JM Bullion. Everyone's heard of them. 
There's Goldline, which does TV and telephone sales. Also, Bullion Max, which JM Bullion acquired. They buy directly from the U.S. Mint, where they buy Silver Eagles for only two thirty-five over spot. Then why is it that when you go over to the Atmex website, the asking price is forty-one forty-five, when spot silver is only twenty-four forty-six? The answer is super simple. Retailers determine the pricing of their items based on what customers are willing to pay. Again, they'll charge whatever their customers are willing to pay. So that's right. Buyers are the reason Silver Eagles are so expensive. If we keep paying these prices, they'll keep selling them to us. I did some checking around and the best buyback price I could find online was $30. Let's say someone shops around and finds these for $40. That's a $10 difference between buy and sell. Well, in other words, silver would have to increase from today's $24 an ounce to $34 an ounce just to break even. That's why I'm not buying silver eagles anymore. Not at these premiums. Here's an unhappy customer complaining to the Better Business Bureau. They bought silver eagles for $47.50, but were only offered $27.50 to buy back. A $20 spread. It's unclear how much time has gone by between this customer buying and wanting to sell back to Atmex, but it's clear that market supply and demand is the main factor Atmex considers in pricing. Had this customer known about this before buying Silver Eagles, then they might not have bought them to begin with. They could have watched this channel and others like it to discover there are better options out there. How about a roll of 25 Canadian maple leaves for only 325 over spot. In my mind, maples are the best coin to stack right now. Even better, a stacker's dream are 10 ounce or kilo bars at less than $2 over spot. Here's another example me. This invoice shows my order for 100 silver eagles at $37.59 each. Sure, that price is a little lower than today, but still far above buyback prices. Another interesting fact is the market price for silver was $25.90 at the time I placed this order, which is about $2 higher than today. Proof that stacking silver and gold is no way to get rich quick. Looking back on this, am I a moron for buying silver eagles? I was working as a senior software engineer at the time, making six figures. The money was good, and I didn't really have to worry about the price of things too much, but the work schedule was brutal. I quit last year to get more freedom in my life and have since become a lot more price conscious. Bars are the best bang for the buck for stacking weight. That's what I'm buying now. If you've stuck around till now, then thanks for watching. Have a great day.